Okay, in this video we're going to talk about refractions, reflections, and the Mia material. Now the Mia material is one of the mental ray shaders, and it stands for Mental Images Architectural Shader. And the way it's written in the Create Material section is Mia material. So that's why I've been calling it the Mia material. So the Mia material is constructed a certain way where it gives very realistic looking reflections and refractions. Reflections will just be reflecting whatever's in your environment onto your object, and refractions are when you have a transparency and the light rays go through an object, and as it's traveling through the object, the light rays are bent, and then they bend again when they come out of the other side of the object. And this bending of light is what the refractions are. And it gives a very um, realistic look to glass. And the MIA material excels at both of these things. So if you're doing metals, um, highly reflective surfaces, or glass with highly realistic uh, refractions, I would use the MIA material. So here we have a scene, and I have a sphere and the ground plane, and both of these have the Lambert one still on them. I also have a sphere in the background. We are actually inside the sphere. And I have a cloud texture on there just so we can have something to reflect onto our objects. So if we do a render of this right now, you'll see we have the cloud pattern in the background. And these two objects just have a straight Lambert on there. So let's take care of this right now. And let's go put a Mia material on our sphere. Let's go to Assign New Materials, and under Mental Ray, go to Materials, and find the Mia material. Okay, so we have one on here. Now let's grab the ground plane and do the same thing. Assign New Material, and we will go to Mental Ray Materials, and the Mia material. Now I'm going to demonstrate refractions with the sphere and reflections with the ground plane. So let's go to the ground plane first. I'm gonna call this Mia material reflections, just so we know which one is which. Uh, I'll leave the color the way it is. We don't have any transparencies going on over here, so this is fine, we'll leave this alone. And we can see our reflections are right here. Reflectivity is at 0.6. So let's do a render right now. And we could see we're picking up reflections and reflections on our ground plane. Now one of the things that the Mia material does really nicely is it alters how much reflectivity you're getting on your surface depending on where the camera is looking. Because this area is closer to us, and the area in the back is at a more oblique angle, we are picking up more reflections in the back than toward the front, the area that's closer to us. This is a definitely a, a much more realistic way. So if you're on a boat and you're looking out on a water, the water in front of you won't be uh, reflective. You'll be able to see through the water to the bottom, and as you peer out over the water uh, in the distance, you'll be getting reflections of the sky and the trees and everything else that's in the, in the environment there. So um, you can see this illustrated right here in this one angle. So now if we take, uh, let's actually open this up again and save this. Now if we change the angle of our camera and look straight down, uh, we're not actually looking straight down, but I just want to don't have a light um, right in the way. Um, so if we uh, render our ground plane at this angle, we should not get as many reflections overall because we've changed our angle and we're almost straight on. And there we go. We're not picking up as many reflections because we're straight on this object. So when you're at a more oblique angle, you're going to pick up a lot of reflections. And when you're looking straight at the object, you'll pick up less. So 
So that is reflections. And now let's go to the sphere. And we'll change this Mia material to refractions. And I'm going to take the reflectivity off. Just because we don't want to get confusion between what's going on with the transparencies and refractions and what is going on with our reflections. Okay, so now we have a matte surface because we have no reflections on the sphere. And I'm going to change my index of refraction to 1 for right now because I want to illustrate what this index of refraction does. So we want to play around with our transparencies. So let's bring the transparency all the way up. And let's do a render. And you can see our object disappears. Now if we want to have Maya calculate our refractions, we need to change this index of refraction. So at an index of refraction of 1, refractions will do nothing. They'll just be perfectly transparent, and there won't be any bending of light. So as soon as you bring it above 1 or below 1, then you start getting the bending of light. So let's change this to 1.1. Uh, and now you can see we're starting to get um, some light bending in here. And we're getting a lot more with 1.4. You can go online and in Google you can type in index of refraction wiki. You can find a Wikipedia article which gives you a listing of these index of refraction. Uh, I know water is 1.33. But if you're looking for any other type of material, like a diamond or a glass or anything like that, you can find that online in that wiki article or, I'm sure, a ton of other places online. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to apply on our reflections Mia material. I'm going to put a checkerboard onto our color just so we have something to refract through our sphere. So let's change our repeat, give us smaller, smaller pattern, and then let's grab our sphere, and let's do another render. Now you can see a little illustrated a little bit better of what the refractions are doing. So this is at 1.33. If we bring it down to 1.1, the refractions will be less severe. And now, as I said, if we go to 1, our refractions will disappear. And if we go below 1, we'll start getting refractions going the other way. So now we're getting refractions. They're just going, they're getting sucked in. Looks like we're looking at a con concave. And this is how refractions and reflections work in the MIA materials. Now that we can see what's going on with the refractions, we can turn our reflection back on. Now we can see what our sphere looks like with reflections and refraction. We're getting a much, much better look overall. So as this would be glass and this would be uh, just a reflective surface. So if you're using glass in your scene or metals, uh, you might want to try this Mia material. And this will give you a very good realistic look to your glass and reflective surfaces.